Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fancy Sip Review. Today on the Fancy Sip Review, I'm going to be trying another Canadian flavored malted sip. Now this is going to be orange crushed vodka, which is bizarre in itself in terms of the name. Now, why would a drink be orange crushed? I mean, they're obviously trying to steal the popularity of the beverage crush orange soda which they also have a grape soda which this company also has a grape soda which is kind of funny so on the can i'll show the can in a second but i'm noticing that they put very little effort into the actual can now this again does look some like something straight out of the 90s it just says black fly but the background is a bunch of what i assume is fake newspaper articles talking about how distinctly Canadian this beverage is in a bunch of awards in which they may have possibly won it sometime. Another thing that's interesting about this product is if you are going to ask somebody what their least favorite type of bugs are, you're going to get mosquito, you're going to get tick, you're going to get centipede probably, those are scary looking. But most people are going to say they hate flies. I don't understand why you would want to name your product after one of the most hated types of bugs again who knows i'm not in charge of marketing or advertising for a canadian flavored malted sip that can only be sold at a state-run company but i don't know i think it's a terrible name personally and i don't have high expectations for this especially when on the can it says that this is not too sweet i'm drinking a flavored malted beverage i expect some sweetness I mean, I understand that you don't want a lot of calories in your beverage, but if you're buying a flavored malted beverage, you want it to taste good, you know? So, here is what the can looks like. Again, it says Black Fly. My head is in this, so it won't pick up the... There we go. Vodka, crushed orange, 7%. Says that it has real juice. I do not believe that. It's not too sweet. And this is a uh, Canadian no gluten beverage in the ingredients that are listed. If this camera will pick it up. You are getting carbonated water, vodka, sugars which comes from cane sugar and orange juice from concentrate, so it's kind of like uh, Mountain Dew, citric acid, flavor. Citric acid and flavors are separate ingredients, so I don't know. Sodium citrate, potassium benzoate, potassium sorbate, so you're getting a lot of potassium, so it's good for you. FDC, or FD and C, yellow number five, FD and C, yellow number six. So they got two different FD and C's. This is bottled in London, Ontario, Canada. So on the can, you're getting a lot of interesting stuff. Again, the the logo is hideous. Looks like something out of the worst parts of the 90s. Bunch of fake newspaper clippings, which I can't imagine are real. And this is 7%. So this is essentially the Canadian version of a... Uh, what is it? The Steel Reserved Alloy Series. This is not competing with uh, Twisted Tea or Mike's Hard Lemonade. This is mostly supposed to be their soda-type beverages. It seems like Blackfly has their hands in all sorts of mixed drinks in which you're getting vodka, you're getting gin, you're getting different types of alcoholic beverages that are made into a canned beverage that sold again at their Canadian uh, alcoholic place that you can buy it at the only places in Ontario so with that said I'm gonna open this up tell you what I think about how this smells how it tastes give my thoughts on if I recommend anybody trying this I mean if you live in Canada you don't have many options I never saw Steel Reserve for Loco I did see Twisted Tea and Mike's Hard, but we'll see how this compares to an American flavored malted beverage. Ooh.
Another thing interesting is on the can, it is in both French and English. Because I only know English, I'm not going to read the ingredients or anything in French. I would just make an ass out of myself and it's not worth it for the 10 people that watch these videos. So on the nose, this is hitting you with a very strong generic orange soda flavored smell. This doesn't smell like orange juice despite this having orange juice concentrate in it. Yeah, I mean, this is much sweeter than it says when it says on the can not too sweet. This just does taste like an orange soda. You're getting a very strong vodka taste that compared to the Tahitian treat, it's much stronger. Now, at 2% higher, you are expecting uh, a bit more bitter of a taste comparatively. And again, it does hit you a lot harder than the Tahitian treat. Compared to the Alloy series, this tastes more of just somebody mixing vodka with orange soda comparatively to a malted taste. On the back end of this beverage, it's really hitting you with the vodka taste. The orange flavor kind of dissipates in a way in which it tastes more so that of an orange juice comparatively to an orange soda. It is very interesting how this beverage can change from tasting like an orange soda on your first sip to then tasting a bit more of an orange juice, which is probably just memories of trying a, a screwdriver and tasting more so that now this is you know this is an orange soda with vodka in it this is not a screwdriver but when you're going to be thinking a vodka orange drink you're going to be thinking a screwdriver again this is supposed to be an orange soda so it's more so what they're going for especially with the name orange or crushed orange vodka I'll, I'll just finish this off, see what it tastes like if I just drink it faster and give my final thoughts on this beverage. Tell you if you, as a, an American or whatever country you're in, should go to Canada and pick this up at your LCBO. So my final thoughts on this beverage. It is a much more drinkable beverage than that of an American flavored malted beverage. Now, if I were to compare this to the orange alloy series steel reserve, this tastes much more like just mixing vodka in orange soda. Now, the other one is a malted beer-based beverage. does taste a bit kind of grosser, but much more drinkable comparatively to that of like a Four loco, I'm saying, but the ingredients of this and how the beverages are made are two completely different types of drinks. Um, again, this is a vodka-based beverage comparatively to a malt beer flavored drink. Um, I don't know. Personally, I think this is a much more palatable beverage. I mean, the vodka doesn't really taste as strong on the back end. It, again, it does taste kind of more in line of a screwdriver on the front end. It tastes like an orange soda, a cheap one, although this is a very 90s drink in which when I was younger, thinking of what alcohol would taste like, I would think of this comparatively to the weird uh, drinks like Four loco again. But how would I review this? I like orange soda more so than grape soda. 
think that you could easily emulate this type of flavor with a, you know, just buy an orange crush and putting a very small amount of vodka in it, measuring it enough so that you know you're getting 5% per, uh, what is this? This isn't in English, or this is in milliliters. You're getting 473 milliliters. You could probably measure out what a 40 or uh, 80 proof 40% vodka would be and uh, pour this yourself and make the same type of a drink. This cost me about $3. Just kind of expensive for a can like this. You could get 25 ounces of steel reserve in America comparatively to the price that I paid. I think in terms of a review of this, it's so generic, but it tastes very drinkable. So I think the review is going to be based on what you personally think of orange soda. The vodka, you can't taste at all. It's a lot like the Tahitian treat. It smells like an orange soda. Again, with like a small amount of vodka in it. I don't know. To review this, it's just going to be based on what I think of orange soda with a minor taste of screwdriver. Screwdriver would get like a 10 because it's a, a staple of alcohol, which is commonly drink and very popular. I mean, and it's relatively healthy that it has orange juice in it. I'll give this a uh, 7.5 out of 10. This is a, a kind of generic beverage for $3. I mean, it's very drinkable. All I can say, the 7% is 2% higher than you would be getting with a something like a White Claw or a Arizona or whatever the Arizona is, the the hard Arizona. I don't know. This is this is a hard drink to review just because of how generic it is. I already made the Keenan and Kel jokes on the Alloy series, so I can't really make the comparison of Keenan and Kel's careers like I did in the last video. You should check this out, though, if you're ever in Canada. This is not as good as the Tahitian treat. It doesn't have the cool 90s aesthetic of... Or not 90s aesthetic, the uh, the hacker club aesthetic of Rev. But I can see why this is the distinctly Canadian drink. It's very generic and they don't really give you much options of alcohol in Canada. They don't want people to, you know, enjoy themselves on weekends. So, cheers. Thank you again for watching this video. Now I'm in the can, or the the uh, glass. It's pretty spooky looking. Thank you for watching the video. Almost spilled the drink on myself. Have a great day. If you've ever had Black Fly, or if you have a personal preference of best flavors of Black Fly, I only bought this one because the can looks disgusting. Let me know what you think is the best flavor. Uh, leave a comment. Thank you again for watching this video. I am the Fancy Sipper. Have a good day. Cheers.